in the news. Bit cringe of me. But we're getting winners finals underway right away. Right, it's gonna be Pink Mama 91 versus uh, Scubs himself. I'm joined by my good friend Yeezy. Yeah, Yo, I'm good. That's good, that's good. These guys are Saskatoon natives, unfortunately. 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 Uh, but another person, obviously, who has limited experience in Pyramithra. That's what I saw is like someone who's playing against Pyramithra, it's going to probably benefit them a little bit more as the set goes on to learn a little bit more about how the character plays and how to play against this character. Is Cole not know much? Well, I don't think a million people know anything. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not saying that. It, I think Cole he's, knows a bit. He's bad at a match, but he's good. Wow, you see that? Arsene Bear yeah. put the shield down and then the Joker Bear. <laughs> the same move. Oh, okay. Crazy. Crazy. And then Eftel gonna push Pink Bomb away off stage and then a drop down Bear with uh, Arsene gonna put Pink on the second stock here. You can try lots, but I mean, it's definitely hard to outclass uh, Scubs with a sortie. <laughs> True. You can even count them as a sortie. They have so many of those crazy big hitting oh, moves. Oh, he's a smart guy. He's nice. got a little brain stream, apparently. I was just sure they're not going to hit Arsene uh, Rebel Scar. I might change this to pink just so that we can hit my other eye with Scar. Smash. I'm gonna put Pink on his last stock here in this game one. Just to give him these guys lots of room to move around and frankly Scubs is definitely using that to his advantage, pushing people all across the stage with these combos, tech chases, everything in the bag Scubs is pulling it out. My voice so fast. Nice, nice. Plus, well, not actually though, I'm still putting out like so conservative with them because it's so much worse. So you're changing? No, I'm just no, I, I'm talking to Chris. He said he was You saw him. Are you No. You did? Yeah. You didn't see him play. No, he was watching in the distance. He told me you're a gear lane camper. And I was like, yep. Oh, wow. That's aggressive. Neutral B from Pyra actually ends oh my up God. taking his stock. I'm not sure if that wasn't even an SD or the Rebels Guard just put him in so much light and can recover it. Raw up smash just ripping it and it's gonna nearly take the pink bomb out of this game. Good jump. Good jump. Yeah. A little forward throw here. Gonna put him in a far away position. Gonna recover pretty safely, nice and low. Definitely one of Joker's weaker spots for edge guarding. Yeah. The neutral B one where he does four slashes. So now, Scubs looking like he's a bit more on his back foot now as uh, Pink's trying to push any advantage that he can get. Now a clutch. Like a clutcher. Bit of a clutcher like a clutch guy. But so is Scubs. Yep. Arsene, f -tilt, definitely going to easily take that game one. And uh, see where we're going from here. Cole's been playing a few different characters. Uh, Dylan has not which is interesting. You know, just the Petra. Full sender. OP character. <laughs> My cat's done a lot for fall asleep. You're gonna fall asleep. I'm so tired. I gotta conserve energy and walk around. Okay. I'm not. Beasy, it's been a pleasure. Game two, same characters. We're on battlefield this time. Let's see what adjustments uh, Pink Mama can make to uh, really turn things around here. So he's getting the combo pretty heavy here. I think these platforms are probably a little bit my favorite towards Fire Mythra, but Joker certainly can use them. Trying to catch that uh, tether there with neutral B uh, when uh, Joker swings there and he has to come up. He, it does have a hurt box that whole time, so if you have a move that's going to last a long time, it can be very effective at uh, taking him out and then putting him in a low enough position where they can't reach with that uh, up B anymore. Scum's got Arsene now. What an advantage he can push. He doesn't really have a hit yet, but there's dash attack. He's off stage. 
this low spot, low deep zone there becomes much more of an option with the down that sends down. Trying to threaten that ledge as much as possible, but he's going to read that jump with a quick back air. Threatens ledge completely. He's going to jump again, get up tilted. Not going to kill, but he's getting closer. 135 down and facing F tilt. He's got to push this advantage all the way home, and I can guarantee you that this stock is not far from over. But now he's at 143. He's going to kill him, hopefully, and not, not take any more percent than he has to. Because that comes in. Wow! Great spacing from Scuzz there. He's going to take that stock. On uh, the attempted missile neutral B recovery. Side B. Side B. Sorry. Yeah, and he is going to get caught with the tail end of that uh, pirate side B there. It's difficult. Not impossible to get back. Getting back to ledge. See, the fact that pirate can't really do anything there. Still a little deceiving, it's not really a traditional mechanic in this game. I have a move where you can move around, grab his face, scare him. Can't actually do any moves. Instantly getting that job on the landing area, there's such good space in this guy's the first time we've seen it in this game, and it won't be the last. Joker from the mask. Joker with the mask. Even with all he's got. And he works for hours at a time. I mean, these guys are just absolutely going for it. And that's probably going to be dead. Yeah, you have no jump. I'm not even going to try and be. Now, Pink's going to take a little bit of solace on that top platform. Regain his thoughts. Think to himself where he's going wrong, where he's going right. He can do a little anime protagonist moment there. Now he's going to start his punish. He's knocked out of it pretty quickly there. But uh, he's trying to build any kind of lead again. He's got a stock lead here. It's important to try and hold on to that as much as he can. Because much any little percent is so so good for him. He's off stage. Lots. Of, our set is online. He's just gonna jump and bear him. He's gonna be dead. Oh, great air dodge read there for Scub. Just doing everything to try and demoralize, read pink to the moon and back. He's gonna recover with, oh actually, with a double rebel scarred there while well, that was very smart to actually just rip the same move twice. But yeah, he was at a 110, or 100% deficit here. He's gonna have to do something big here. And his Arsene, getting close to offline, he's gonna have to do something pretty magical here. There's a dash attack and he's just got about five more seconds left on Arsene and that I'll tell he's gonna take it, yeah. Game two goes to paint. Sick little rock uh, theme there to close out uh, what game two was. Same characters were on town now. I think Pink really honestly made the adjustment that he needed to make. You know, condition that lead as much as he could. Just, you know, like, milked it for everything it had. Train up here was just a little too much for a player. Ooh, Cole Caliber to make a comeback there. Stuff there from Pink Mambo. Pushing uh, him off stage, maybe can get a downer. Not quite though. He got one already, it's not impossible, but certainly not easy. <laughs> and you get the downer there, no follow up though. It is a pretty good combo move, he's getting close. Can't maybe flip stool, I don't know. I've, I'm on Twitter once a week, so I don't really know what the follow up is there. Definitely gives him so much position that it just take legs for free. If uh, Pink can kind of turn the lead here, he's not quite a kill percent yet, especially with no Arsene. He's being used 
got to get hit with an F smash for sure. But, uh, maybe even F smash, but yeah. He's got 27, and that's not really what you want. That back air, great offensive option from uh, Scubs is going to even that game up pretty quick there. And then you get down or down tilt. Interesting little combo there. It looks cool, and it is pretty cool. <laughs> Thomas is keeping uh, things off nice and safe. And actually laying on the ground there kind of saved that. Pink from getting hit with another forward tilt. They're both just chucking their zoning side views at each other. Not really interacting with their good old good old swords, eh? And that up being a little too uh, aggressive and then end up getting punished. He's going to recover a little bit more safely that time. He's going to do him just fine. He's going to hold it for as long as he can. And it's going to be Rebel's Garden. Good stuff, good recognition for Pink there. And, uh, honestly, not bad recognition for Cole, but uh, the fact that he held it was just what you had to do there. Yeah, and then he's just going to get s right away. This is a very close game, and it's going to mean a lot whoever wins game three. Cole did win game one, so he's technically won the counter pick war already, but if they keep going back and forth like this, it's hard to say. Oh, and as soon as Arsene comes out, that's when the combo starts. I mean, that's what you want, but... Down air, back air. Such a strong, high damage combo from Arsene Joker there. Just gonna space it back. Don't let him take any space in back air. Rinse and repeat. Now this lead is gone, and game three is gone, too. Scubs takes it. They're going right back to where they started. PS2 for game four. Pulls up a game. It's a match for him. But Pink is by no means out of this. Like these are close, close games, ladies and gents. How's chat doing? Now we see the cloud actually. Maybe that's a punish game, but it's gonna hit a little much harder. Oh, that might make him expend the limit there. No, it doesn't. He gets the air dodge off. Good stuff from Scubs there. Oh, the pressure's getting put on here. Wow, that I didn't realize that last jab was a fire burst that sent him so far away. Eftel's gonna take it, yeah. Go down. Things are just about as even as they've been. Wow. But Cole's up a game right now, and he's going to have to go back to PS2, and so Cole switched to Cloud. We've seen a lot of little switches from Cole here that definitely the impact of the momentum of all these sets, especially this Nadia and all that. <laughs> yeah. Both of them are playing pretty safe right now, like they don't want to be the one going to stock down. Yeah. Anytime someone's had a lead, they just take it every single time. Like that's how Pink One game. Oh, that's how Pink One game two is just yeah, we got up two where it was up a hundred, like I think it was a fifty, close at hundred fifty. Wasn't really winnable. Wow. 
Now Polis pushing this, he's got limit, but Ole gets knocked up and allows uh, Dylan to return back to center stage. Polis is so scary, so many options. Yeah, oh, and wow. staying on ledge is not a good one. Then we got Blade Demon that does an aggressive recovery, and now he has center stage with an up smash. But I mean, Cole made the most of that lead, like I said. Yeah, 96, and he's grabbed. Okay, he's, he's gonna need a string here. Yeah, gonna need a long Mithras string. Doable. 20% sure. off those four hits, unfortunately. So not, not quite what he's looking for. Yeah. Oh, it's a down tilt. It's a, a bunch of aerials that I don't know the name of. Yep. There's an up air. 50 pyro? Oh, that was good that he didn't get a single one. Oh, then he gets into fire. knocked into that one. Okay, this is so scary. He doesn't get poked. Down tilt? F tilt, actually. Yeah. Oh, he's hit by the F air. Yeah, he's so. Oh, jeez. Aggressive recovery, that's a fair, I think. Lightning one got there. Oh, oh that close. was that was so so close. I think it traded actually. Yeah. Oh! No, get it off. Oh, that could be it. Oh it wasn't. He, he made it back. Barely. This is so close. He gets the grab. He's off stage. Looks like he's going aggressive, doesn't quite get it in the back off the roll. Yeah. That's great stuff from both players, but yeah, Cole's gonna take it 3-1. And uh Cole's and Grands. Good at that. Good stuff. Good